Hi team. So we had a long day and this is my first official meal in uh, a brand new kitchen that me and Tron will move into once we get married. Well actually I moved in but he's going to move in here officially after we tie the knot. So the kids love box macaroni and cheese but you know what I do because I don't always have time. Sorry. I'll be because I don't always have time to cook the macaroni and cheese that my uh, fiance loves. So what I do is add this. I was about to call you your by your real name. I call him Moshi. But my Moshi, what he loves. So I add some of this in here and it makes it extra cheesy. Alright, so I got the pot of water boiling on the stove. And you know I got some thighs, chicken, skinless, boneless chicken thighs. Healthy. If you like you know, chicken thighs are usually more juicier than chicken breasts. So if you like juicy chicken, get boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You can be healthy. I'm about to bake this. Then I'm going to cook some roasted vegetables. Got the, I guess it's carrots and broccoli mix. Got another bag of cauliflower. I got some potatoes. I'm getting ready to peel and, you know, dice up. And I already got some onions that we have left over. If you have leftover onions, dice them up. You know, just as a prep. So, got some leftover diced onions that we had for chili dogs the other night. So, I'm getting ready to prep this and right. So, you guys, I'm getting ready to make my um, roasted vegetables. So, I got some tomato uh, potatoes diced that I diced up, peeled and diced. All right, so I'm getting ready to pour in my bag of. Broccoli carrots and sugar snap peas and water chestnuts. It's going to be delicious. So I just gotta kind of just open it. You know. And so I'm gonna put in the vegetables. Right? I'm roasted vegetables. Roasted vegetables. Got a cauliflower, you know, just gotta kind of open it. And I'm gonna mix all this together and put some onion soup mix on it. It's gonna be good. But I'm gonna show you how to do it though. It's gonna make it a lot. It's gonna be so good. I got a little bit of carrots, but not a lot. I'm just gonna put a little bit in it. Yeah, just a little bit of carrots. I have them in here. a little bit, not too much. Maybe like half. It's going to make a lot of it. It's going to cook down too. It's going to be delicious. Alright. Well, a little bit more. There we go. Then I got these onions. So I'm going to put some onions in here. Let's go ahead and use them up. So you can take olive oil and do it, but it's going to take some melted butter yeah, and just kind of pour it in here. And you take a pack of onions with this. This makes everything taste good. Alright, I'm going to grab the garlic powder. It's the missing ingredient. on this it's gonna be delicious y'all get some salt you can't go wrong with some salt all right 
this is Cajun season and this makes everything. See, this with some butter. That's exactly what I'm about to use on this chicken. It makes everything taste beautiful. Okay. Now I got a, a big old spoon. I'm about to mix everything together in here. Just kind of mix it together, you know. Make sure all your vegetables are coated. This is good. It's healthy. Roasted vegetables are delicious. Just kind of coat whatever, you know, your vegetables and And you have to let this y'all cook in the oven, you know, till they get roasted, that roast color, like brownish, change colors. And the vegetables are fork tender. So yeah. This is so good. My mom got me doing it. Look at that. I like this. paper my pan will fall so it won't stick so this is what you do you watch you put it up down for a second. It's down for a second. And let me use a pack of this. Yes, my babe. He loves this stuff, so I brought a pack of it. <laughs> Sorry, please edit it down. <laughs> yeah, you know. I brought a pack of this and um yeah, I'm gonna cook with this. So I'll sprinkle some of this on it. I only cooked with this one time y'all and it made my rice really red. So I'm gonna put it on there. Yeah. Alright. So I have my um I'm gonna put some butter on there now. Butter in Cajun season makes everything taste delicious. So I'll just put like a scoop of butter on each chicken thigh. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven, let it cook for about an hour. It's gonna be so juicy. It's just gonna be fork tender. It's gonna be delicious. Yes, I want to convert my babe to a chicken lover because I cook a lot of chicken. I cook a lot of fish, so I'm going to convert him over. Yes. So, you guys, I'm just going to make, uh, finish up this macaroni, 
chicken is cooking really good. The vegetables are roasting really good in the oven. And I'm just going to get like a spoonful, maybe like a one-fourth uh, teaspoon of, you know, butter. This is like margarine, blue bonnet margarine. And, you know, you just put in your milk. And I just go by eye, you know. They just recommend for like one-fourth in there, one-fourth cup. Just put a little milk in here. And then, the fun part, I already put the cheese packet in there too, y'all. So the fun part is just to put, you know, some mild cheddar cheese in here. And it makes it cheesy. The kids love it. So, I go through these like every week. Like two or three bags this week. Because I make a lot of bat box macaroni and cheese with the kids. So, I just stare it. Yeah, but I'm going to have to cook real macaroni and cheese for babe again. Yes. If you haven't seen that vlog about the macaroni and cheese, I need to go back and watch it. Yeah, because he went on and on and on and on and on about me not knowing how to cook real macaroni and cheese. So I fried some chicken and made some double eggs and some macaroni and cheese. He couldn't say nothing, y'all. Yeah, he couldn't say nothing, but he ate it. Yeah, he took leftovers and yep, home and everything. So he loved it. So just kind of stir this together. It's getting cheesy. Yep, cheesy. Look how cheesy this looks. See how cheesy? Alright, so tonight we're going to use paper plates because mommy don't feel like washing all these dishes out. So, I'm going to make three plates. See how cheesy that is, y'all? And gooey. It's cheesy goodness. It's so gooey. Look at that. Cheese on anything makes everything taste better. Hmm. All right, so I'm making these plates for the kids. You know what? My kids love to eat, so I'm gonna give them two. Yeah, and then and we only got a little bit left, and it's gonna be gone, y'all. The kids are gonna devour it. So it's been about 10 minutes and the chicken looks delicious. So it's extra juicy so I gotta be very careful not to waste any juice on me. So I'm just gonna try to grab this the best way I can. So I'm going to pour out the juice. Just be very careful. Look slow. Pour the juice out. The Cezanne made it a different color. Oops, okay. And that's good for now. And I'm going to put this back on the stove. So we still got about 10 more minutes on the vegetables. So let's look at this, let's look at this chicken. I'm just gonna cut a piece to show you how juicy it looks inside. So that's what they do. So let's pick one. See? The juices were in clear. Look at that. See how that looks? Now if you ever cut chicken, if you know it's pink, it ain't ready. But look at that. This juicy is fork tender and it's going to melt in my mouth. Yeah. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes and I'm getting ready to check on these potatoes. The roasted vegetables. It is hot, it is steamy, and I'm going to just open up this oven and just see uh, if they're ready. Pull out. So first you gotta check it. So I got a fork, and yes, pork tender. It's like a fork in it. Yes. So everything looks good. Everything's yeah. And plus it changed colors. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the oven off. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Just put this over here. Roasted vegetables is delicious. The kids said it tastes good. So I love you guys. Thank you for cooking with Kimberly. Alright, tell them about that. Deuces. Tell them about mine. Say deuces. Say bye, right? What about the camera? Mm -hmm. Say bye. Okay. <laughs>